Hey, I'm reviewing my first Otter Creek beer as part of my digesting beer series. And this is their newest IPA called Free Flow. Otter Creek has been focusing on really hoppy beers and a sort of hippie aesthetic for the past few years. Um, and they've been making some pretty, pretty good beers. It's sort of somewhere between the old-fashioned East Coast IPA and the new-fashioned East Coast IPA. Basically, like the old-fashioned East Coast, I would say, is kind of dogfish heady type. Um, they're a little bit malty, but not super malty nor super bitter. And this free flow, I think, is definitely trying to do the hazy sort of thing. They call it a mind-melting India Pale Ale. It's only 6% alcohol not too strong and it has citra galaxy and falconer's flight hops in it which is a very great blend and they say they use a little bit of oats this can is from uh, 19 days ago so should be in pretty good shape um i guess actually i've reviewed double dose for my from for the digesting beer series so i have done a not a creek beer even though that one's a lawson's collaboration too but double dose is a really really well done beer and this one being a little lower alcohol and with some uh, galaxy hops makes it seem like what I'd like and it's very pale and there's probably gonna be some haze I've noticed that the Otter Creek beers tend to have more of the chunky sort of stuff on the bottom rather than being a super perfect haze like I didn't pour the bottom in there, so you can, you can see my finger through there. It's just a very light haze, but now let's see what happens when I put it in the bottom. Good carbonation and a nice head on there. I feel like I didn't pour it that hard. And yeah, I can't even get the very bottom in there yet. Ooh, that does smell pretty nice. The Citroen Galaxy come through pretty strong. It smells like basically like Smarties. And... Almost banana, but more just like a fake pineapple aroma or something. Yeah, a little bit of passion fruit in there. Well, that smells pretty nice. But it's it really smells a lot like Smarties to me, like you know the chalky, uh, generic fruity candy. I don't get any tartness exactly. Sometimes I notice some sort of tartness in uh, in these beers that are really Smarties and uh, tropical fruit forward. It's not a huge aroma, but it's getting through the uh, the head pretty well. Let's see what happens if I put in the very bottom. If we get any chunks. Huh. Actually, no chunks. I guess if I look in the light, still no, no like really noticeable particulates. I guess maybe Otter Creek has figured out how to get that nice, even haze to make their beers look pretty nice. Because, yeah, some of their... Um, Older bottles that haven't moved very fast, I've noticed that stores get a little chunky. Not that chunks are bad, but I think they've really figured out the whole new way of IPA thing at Otter Creek. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of almost like a lemon bar, like sweet um, citrusy desserts. It's not tart or um, rindy and bitter sort of citrus. And I'm not, I'm getting very little... Uh, dank or piney notes or vegetal qualities. It smells like it's going to be pretty sweet. Mm. Yeah, that's really, that's really soft. And I like how the yeast is, uh, the yeast isn't all big and buttery and biscuity. It does have some, bring out some of the stone fruit esters, definitely. Um, and there's a good amount of bitterness in the finish, but it, it's pretty sweet. It's 6% and they say 60 IBUs. Um, so the IBUs do help a little bit, but there's a good amount of sweetness in this, but it's, it's this is pretty well done. Yeah, now I'm starting to get a little bit more of a resinous quality in the, after those first few sips. But I like that quite a bit. It's, it's kind of my yeast, my favorite kind of yeast uh, qualities. It's not quite like Trillium, but in more on the Trillium end than like the Conan yeast. Uh, I would say like Alchemist and some other brewers who use this yeast. It brings out really intense biscuity, buttery sort of things. Um, I'm not really a fan of that. I like the slightly cleaner 
cleaner but still fruity fruity yeast and that's what this one seems to do it's it's it really seems like a clean english yeast with a lot of uh extra stone fruity hops yeah it's, it's not quite like peachy exactly a little bit but smarties is probably the best way i can describe this and like I don't know, not after dinner mints, because it's not quite minty, but it has this sort of pillowy, soft candy sort of thing going on. Almost like taffy. I guess taffy's a better term. Like, a generic taffy flavor. Like, if you mix together, you know, coconut taffy and a bunch of other ones. Yeah, it's definitely got a tropical thing going on. Pineapple-y, coconut sort of thing. Um... That's really, really pleasant. I guess maybe it's just a tad sweet. Um, and then they're probably doing that to pull it towards the extra fruity, juicy, juicy world. But I, if it were just a little bit less sweet, I might be a little more of a fan of it. But the bitterness is building up and drying things out pretty nicely. But it's it's real clean, clean yeastiness and and clean uses of usage of hops. It's, I'm not getting like any vegetal notes in this beer. Um, no, really any any onion, garlic, or any of that going on. It's just a little bit of, of a slight um, dank, like woody resinous sort of thing. Um, but otherwise, it's a lot of soft feels and soft flavors. The oats, I think you're giving it a softer mouth feel slightly. I'm just making it finish a a little bit more texture, um, and may maybe it's bring making it seem a little bit more mal malted milk bolly. It's bringing out some of those softery co coconut flavors. Softery, that's yeah, that, that should be a word. Um, but this is good. I might buy this if yeah next time I find it. If I find it really fresh, that would be great because uh, 19 days is good. This beer's definitely held up really well. Um, but I bet when it's really fresh, it's, it's got a little bit more biting bitterness and, and fresh green qualities. But now it's just slightly minerally, um, barely resinous sort of bitterness is cleaning up the all the sweetness on, on the tongue. And it's, it's, it's pretty well done. I would highly recommend this beer, actually. I'd give it like a, maybe even like an 80, 84, 85. It's, it's done really well. The carbonation is pretty appropriate um it's just about medium and the head sticking around just enough got a little bit of lacing i will do 84 for the free flow ipa from arda creek goodbye